hi so this is a video on how to um, customize your AI prime light schedule and so the goal of this video is to give you a light curve like this where every 10 minutes there's a different light intensity throughout the day to make this happen I have a folder with three different files in it there's an Excel spreadsheet where we actually will be entering the values um, a calculator that'll give something called a checksum and then on the left we have the document or the file that we'll paste the code into and then eventually upload it onto the AI Prime um, server. So to find these files, what you need to do is go to the AI Prime Hydra Reef Group, go into the Files section, and search for um, Stefan Bitterwolf. Okay, so I searched for Stefan Bitterwolf, there's a bunch of random things that I posted, and then here's the post from March 22nd where it says, you know, the Bitterwolf AI Prime Google Drive. So just go ahead and right click and open this in a new tab or window. And then it'll bring you to the, draw, the drive folder where these three files are stored. So once you've gone ahead and downloaded these files, focus this camera here, you'll just go ahead and open up the Excel document. And then there's a readme um, of these sort of steps that you need to follow to make it work. And so what we'll do now is go through these steps. And so the first thing we need to do is determine the maximum intensities that we want. And to do this, we'll go back to the AI Prime folder or the, the, Excel, the, the Google Drive. Sorry, to do this, we're gonna go onto the, the AI Prime website where I showed you that curve before and I'm just going to go ahead and delete this. So I'm going to make a new schedule. I'm going to go to the auto. I'm going to select a time period. So 12 sounds good. And this is where I'll start to change my settings. And so I've decided to um, increase these all the way to the maximum, make the red 20%, but you can make it whatever you want. And then increase the whites to 100 and then you just hit save. Okay, now that we have a profile that we want, I'm gonna go ahead and click this button here to download that profile, and then I will go ahead and open that up. Okay, so now it has opened up this profile and you'll see all these different um, <laughs> words. And essentially what you're looking for are the ones like UV, there's going to be one that is um, violet here, for example, and other colors as well, so green and so on. And so what I like to do is start with the first one, which is deep red. So this is saying open the deep red code. Um, we're making a point. The intensity of that point is zero, which means it's not on. And the time for which this is happening is midnight and end that point. And then it makes another point for the noon time. And so this is the intensity that you want. So for me, this intensity is 200. And so once I know that, that value, I'll go into the Excel doc. On the bottom, it says paste values. So first step is to do the maximum, go to the website, we did that, read the file, find the intensity values, and then we're gonna go to the intensity key tab. So here's the intensity key tab. And you'll see there's these red things on the side, so don't mess with red, but go ahead and mess with the things in green. And so deep red, we figured out was gonna be 200. And so now we're gonna go ahead and do this with the UV. And so if we go to UV, we see the point, midnight again, we don't want that one, we want the one after that, which we see has an intensity of um, 2000. So luckily for me, this is already in there, and so I would just add that there and so on. The one that is probably going to be changing is the cool white. So finding the cool white, we see midnight, then we see the next point which has an intensity of a thousand. So I'll go ahead and type 1000 into this box here. Green, I know I don't have any green so this is going to be zero. Blue I know is all the way the maximum, 2000, the other one is also 2000. But you can just go ahead and check and see what um, the values are in here for you. Okay, so now we've gone ahead and done that. We can go and what this is essentially done 
is changed a bunch of values in this area here. Um, so this Excel spreadsheet is essentially looking for the maximum red and other values that we've set, and it creates a sine curve like we have plotted here, where just as a function of time, the value changes. Um, and that's pretty much it. And so once we've entered those codes, all we really need to do is go and click on the thing called profile. Um, there's a lot of things happening in the profile, if I can explain it. You essentially have your color, you have the time at which the color starts, um, the point, this is essentially just the codes and the intensity, and you can see that it's increasing with the time value increase. And then we have the time code ending, ending the time value, what time it actually starts. So this is essentially in minutes where zero was midnight. And then at the end, it compiles this code into this blue sort of area. And so the way I like to copy this is click this one file, hit shift control and then the down arrow and that takes you all the way to the bottom of the code. Then hit control C for copy and that's pretty much what you need to do there. The next step is to go and find um, the, the file that we downloaded and open up the Word doc. Sorry, this. Open up the Word doc. So the Bitterwolf AI Prime code. So we'll open up that you can open it in whatever text editor you have. I'll bring this to the big screen and you'll see this here. And so what we're gonna do is just hit select and paste. So right click and then we're gonna paste as a text only. And once we've done that, that's great. And now what we'll do is we'll select everything all the way up to the top, hit control A to select all, control C to copy and then we're going to go ahead and open up the calculator that will calculate something called the checksums. And the checksums is essentially the website's version of figuring out whether or not this code was created by them or not. And so we're essentially cheating a little bit to make our own checksums so that we can upload a custom profile, which they currently don't allow to this extent, right? So here's the Bitterwolf AI Prime checksums. We'll just open this up. One of my friends made this, it was really nice of him. And all we have to do is paste the code in here, hit the calculate checksums, it gives us this long number. We'll go ahead and copy that. Then we'll go back to the Word doc. We'll add this text to the checksum area. We'll just paste it in there again. And then I just like to double check, hit Control A again, copy again, paste it back into the checksums. Paste it back into the checksums. And we'll go ahead and calculate the checksums. And you'll see that the number didn't change. And that's a good sign. <laughs> okay, great. So now we go to the Word document and we'll want to save this as a text file. So we'll go to Save, click Save As. And then here we'll change the file format and just choose plain text then give it another and different name. So I'm going to call this no red whites because there's a lot of whites. Um, hit save. Go ahead and just click OK on this. And now we can go back to our AI prime. We'll delete this curve. Now that this curve is gone, we'll just upload our own. So that once we deleted the curve, you see the light is now off. And so now we will upload our next code. And so here it is, no red whites. We'll just hit open and you see that it automatically created the profile and the light will now turn on. And that's pretty much it. And once you understand how these files work and how the intensities are calculated, you can actually go ahead and change this to make any kind of function that you want. So you could have a sine curve on a sine curve, which would give you squiggles, or you could program some other sort of um, function into here and really customize your light profile to whatever you'd like. All right, so I hope that was helpful and I hope that um, this sort of project is useful for you. Good luck, bye.